Love additivity is an important concept because it is often used to justify imperfect competition. It occurs when it is less expensive to produce the same amount of output when only one firm is producing it, than when a second firm joins the market. Subadditivity can be expressed using the following formula. Subadditivity exists when the cost function of the sum of all units produced is smaller than the sum of the various cost functions, given multiple companies of the same level of output. Let's use a graph to better explain how subadditivity works. The x-axis, or horizontal axis, measures the quantity of output produced, while the y-axis, or vertical axis, measures the average cost of production. This curve shows the evolution of average cost of a firm as it increases its level of production. At an initial stage, average cost decreases as a result of economies of scale. However, as we can see, there is a point where the average cost starts to rise. From this point onwards, the firm will suffer from diseconomies of scale, and therefore, the average cost increases due to an excessive size of production. If market demand were to be equal to D1, the firm would profit from economies of scale, and therefore, would be able to supply the market. However, if total demand were to grow beyond a certain point to D2 or D3, the firm would start to suffer from diseconomies of scale. Since supply of one firm is unable to meet market demand, a second firm could enter the market to compete with the first firm. This second curve corresponds to the joint average cost curve of the two firms, not the average cost of the second firm. It is important to make the distinction in order to understand subadditivity. This blue area shows exactly where subadditivity takes place. Since the average cost of production by just one firm is lower than for two firms. However, since subadditivity means that a single firm will produce at a lower cost than more firms, subadditivity starts before this area. This is because the individual average cost curve will always be set lower than the joint cost curve until they meet each other. If two firms were to share demand D3 and decided to put a price high enough, they both would be able to share profits equal to the black shaded area. However, any of these firms could decrease their selling price in order to banish the other firm from the market since a single firm would still be able to produce at a lower average cost. This wouldn't be the case for demand D4. Since market demand is now higher, the output level could be expanded in order to fulfill consumers' demands. Subadditivity and economies of scale are considered important concepts when analyzing imperfect competition, especially natural monopolies.